Dear student friends, welcome to the digital platform of e-content provided by MSBTE that is Maharashtra State Board of Technical Education. Today's subject of discussion is Environmental Studies whose course code is 22447. Ecosystem and Biodiversity is the unit number 3 which we are going to deal with. The concern CO that is course outcome is conserve ecosystem and biodiversity. The related LO that is learning outcome is state the general characteristics and functions of ecosystem. It's me Mr. Anant Fuljale lecturer government polytechnic nagpur what we will learn today the agenda of today's discussion is general characteristics and functions of ecosystem now first we shall discuss the general characteristics of an ecosystem now according to smith following are the general characteristics of ecosystem First, the ecosystem is a major structural and functional unit of ecology. Second, the structure of an ecosystem is related to its species diversity. As such, the more complex eco ecosystem has high species diversity. The relative amount of energy required to maintain an ecosystem depend on its structure. The more complex the structure, the lesser the energy it requires to maintain itself. Next general characteristics of an ecosystem is the function of the ecosystem is related to energy flow in material cycling through and within the system. Next characteristic is ecosystems mature by passing from less complex to more complex states. Early stages of such succession have an excess of potential energy. Later after maturity uh, stages have less energy accumulation. Both the environment and the energy fixation in any given ecosystem are limited. They cannot be exceeded in any way without causing serious undesirable effects. Alterations in the environments represent selective pressures upon the population to which it must adjust. Organisms which fail to adjust to the changed environment must go. Now having discussed the characteristics of ecosystem, next are functions of ecosystem. This is the concept map which enumerates the different functions of ecosystem. The first function can be listed as transformation of solar energy into food energy. Second one is the circulation of elements through energy flow. Third, the conversion of elements into inorganic flow. Next, the growth and development of plants. And the last one is productivity of ecosystem. Now we can discuss all these functions of ecosystem one by one. So first one is transformation of solar energy into food energy through the process of photosynthesis. The solar radiation is the basic input of energy entering the ecosystem. The sun's energy is the basic energy source which is utilized by all the living organisms, plants as well as animals. 
the green plants receive the sunlight and then they convert it into heat energy it is only a small proportion of radiant solar energy that is used by plant to make food through the process of photosynthesis green plants transform a part of solar energy into food energy or chemical energy the chemical energy becomes the source of energy to the herbivorous animals of the food chain next function of ecosystem is regarding the circulation of elements through energy flow we can take carbon cycle as an example here is the flow diagram depicting the carbon cycle in the various biotic components of ecosystem the energy flow is the main driving force of nutrient circulation the organic and inorganic substances are moved reversibly through various closed system of cycles in the biosphere atmosphere hydrosphere and lithosphere this activity is done in such a way that total mass of these substances remains almost the same and is always available to biotic communities so through carbon cycle we get carbon dioxide through plant respiration through combustion that is burning through animal respiration okay now plants with the sunlight and the use of carbon dioxide through the process of photosynthesis then prepare their own food in the form of carbohydrates which contain carbon as its basic element then through root respiration and decaying of organisms okay some carbon dioxide is also released okay and like this this cycle goes on next function of ecosystem is regarding the conversion of elements into into inorganic flow here i have taken the example of nitrogen cycle now in in a inorganic flow the nitrogen gets recycled in the nature the organic elements of plants and animals are released in the under mentioned waves waves first one is decomposition of leaf fallen from the plant dead plants and animals by decomposers and their conversion into soluble inorganic form burning of vegetation <coughs> by lighting accidental forest fire or deliberate action of man when burnt the portions of organic matter are released to the atmosphere and these again fall down under the impact of precipitation on the ground then they become soluble inorganic form of element to join soil storage the waste materials released by animals are decomposed by bacteria they find their way in soluble inorganic form to soil storage next function of ecosystem is regarding the growth and development of plants in this diagram we can see how the plant can grow from various stages this is showing the early growth then vegetative growth then flowering stage then the stage of fruit formation and after that lastly mature fruiting stage in the biogeochemical cycles are included the uptake of nutrients of inorganic elements by the plants through their roots the nutrients are derived from the soil where these inorganic elements are stored 
the decomposition of leaves plants and animals and their conversion into soluble inorganic form are stored into soil contributing to the growth and development of plants next function is related to productivity of ecosystem the productivity of an ecosystem refers to the rate of production that is the amount of organic matter which is accumulated in any unit time this ecosystem productivity can be of two types one is gross primary productivity which is commonly known as gpp it is the total amount of solar energy that the producers in an ecosystem capture via photosynthesis over a given amount of time next type is net primary productivity which is normally called as npp the energy captured through gpp minus the energy respired by producers is the net primary productivity <coughs> so npp can can be equal to gpp minus energy used by producers and it is measured in the unit of kg per square meter per year now in the summary we can have a look over what we have studied we have studied various characteristics of ecosystem then we had studied various functions of ecosystem these are some of the references of standard books which has been given over here for your further studies thank you all have a nice day